Measles is a highly contagious virus spread by contact with an infected person through coughing and sneezing. The disease weakens the immune system and opens the door to health problems such as pneumonia, blindness and diarrhea. Some children with measles die. <laughs> Worldwide, the number of measles death fell by 78% between 2000 and 2008, from an estimated 733,000 cases in 2000 to only 164,000 cases in 2008. Today, measles still kills globally nearly 450 people every day, or 18 deaths every hour. In case of Somalia, the death rate has fallen drastically, but still thousands of children are dying each year. Actually, they are decreasing, the trend is decreasing. For example, uh, from uh, before two or five years, there are going to be, you know, 200,000 Measles cases, something like that. But now they are decreasing to, you know, very small cases. So that we have, for example, 1,000, something like that in a year. Measles is one of the leading causes of death among young children, even though a safe and cost-effective vaccine is available. <laughs> Accelerated immunization activities have had a major impact on reducing measles death. From 2001 to 2011, an estimated 1 billion children aged 9 months to 14 years who live in high-risk countries were vaccinated against the disease. Somalia has known a reduction of more than 75% since 2005. <laughs> Samples of suspected measles cases from across Somalia are collected and confirmed by the laboratory investigation units in Hargeisa, Garoway and Mogadishu. The first step we do is just we assess the patient. Most of the patients are child, so we assist them. So the second step just to take the sample. After that, when we take the sample, we process it. As they know in Mr. Serfino Chikalanis says, or as they know in laboratory procedures, when we get the result, we document it into our measles register, also we document it into the, you know, in patient form that has been pre-filled by the clinician. We communicate to the, you know, yeah, parents of, probably, you know, relatives of the patient. We report also the results to the Minister of Health and also to WHO sub-office, Hargis sub-office. We are just doing the samples in this laboratory in a space, according to the space, it's not enough. That all activity to be done. We also need a, a training. So, you know, there is a challenge of that. Our, you know, staff are not have enough training of, you know, doing our activity. There are measles cases, in fact, in the city, but, you know, 
our clinicians are not referring. So unfortunately, we have resource cases who are not being fixed, you know, who, who are not investigated and you know, in fully examined. Or else there is a lack of finance, shortage of finance to cover or to do all these activities.